So I'm out here waiting for the shuttle so I can head back to Target and pay my uh, phone bill for the month. But I just heard that one of my favorite uh, bloggers who is my true inspiration, Mr. Casey Neistat, uh, it looks like he won't be meeting with me anytime soon and he won't be uh, doing any blogs with me. It's based on his, uh, his webpage. He just uh, is really, really busy and it sounds like he's trying to get his business up and running and he's trying to uh, raise a family and, and then take t care of himself. And I think that's great. But either way, Casey Neistat, if you uh, see my blogs right here on YouTube, just happen to share me and happen to promote my stuff and be sure to watch my videos because I sh uh, raise a lot of autism awareness. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. signs for that but I went up there to get that sign and I got a little bit of dust in my eyes so I had to uh, scrape it out or just uh, remove it because it was uh, a mild irritant anyway I'm on my way to uh, Target to pick up my phone card now and get what I need to uh, have my bill for the month otherwise I can't make more calls and do all the stuff that I normally do right here on uh, this phone so but either way I need to uh, I've been talking about this last couple of vlogs I need to really uh, invest into those other camera options so that uh, uh, my videos make a difference but uh, I have great news so um, I've been looking at my uh, subscribing and I'm noticing that more people are starting to watch my channel and more people are starting to come to my Twitter account, which is a good thing. No, I'm not at 1,000 subscribers yet and I'm not at a million, but at the moment I'm at 168 subscribers, which is really nice. So I'm noticing that my vlogs are starting to take off and I'm hoping that my uh, blog about autism speaks will uh, catch the attention of uh, the media. So I'm just super excited about that. I recently heard a uh, really sad story about a uh, autistic boy that was attending a school that was supposed to cater to his needs because uh, they couldn't handle him in the public school setting. And his mother noticed some um, really bizarre behaviors with this otherwise sweet boy. She noticed that he would act really aggressive and she also noticed that he started wetting the bed. Well, she found out that the school that was supposed to be quote, accept, accepting, was putting him into a classroom with some really, really, really abusive teachers and teacher's aides that were giving him a hard time. I mean, 
they were bullying him and they were humiliating him and she found out and decided to put a recorder into his bag and what she heard came back alarming basically they were making fun of him they were making fun of his noises which by the way uh, like his humming which by the way uh, can mean a lot of things it doesn't mean that he's being disruptive or uh, having trouble or he's trying to mock anybody that just means that the sound of the classroom could have been too overwhelming for him and i don't think that's one bit at least funny to make fun of an autistic because they're humming i hum and i rock back and forth which evidently is what my uh, youtube buddy andy norville always says uh, a stereo type tippy type of behavior and they were making fun of that and i for one do not think that's funny uh, another thing that they were doing they were using uh, profanity which is very inappropriate and unprofessional being that these are teachers and being that they're supposed to be trained and granted um, if you're gonna work with uh, kids in the public schools um, and you're in a professional environment you're on the clock um, when I was uh, 18 years old or if I uh, even or any of the other jobs if I even drop the f-bomb that could be grounds for getting fired. So I don't think it's any excuse. I mean, working with an autistic child with quote, challenging behaviors is no excuse ever to be swearing at them because they're different, ever. Um, and then um, uh, another thing that they were doing was they were mocking his mother and they were bad mouthing her and uh, they were putting her down and accusing her of being a bad parent and they were also uh, talking about this young boy as if he was uh, he was meat for the public school system and I'm not going to say exactly that everything that they said but they basically called him stupid and said he couldn't do anything right I mean not in those words but if you listen to what they say and you can hear them laughing and snickering but not only that, they were abusive to uh, other members of that classroom too. And believe me, these people were not equipped to handle someone who is autistic and uh, they're not trained. So anyway, his mother uh, got a hold of that information and she got a hold of the principal and I believe she got a hold of the lawyer. I don't know if uh, she got him out of there or not but the last i heard is that these two uh, quote professionals lost their jobs for uh, abusing him and other people who are different because uh, they just don't belong in an environment like that i mean do people with autism need discipline yeah not for being different and not for uh, <laughs> not for being overstimulated or dealing with uh, sensory overload, but, but as far as hitting and kicking and punching, yeah, that's grounds for punishment. But you don't punish somebody for being autistic. You don't punish somebody for being different. And question to, to these teachers, what the hell do some of these teachers think they can do by going to... Uh, going into special education, if they're just gonna sit there and make fun of people who are different, that's abuse. That is mental and emotional abuse. And for those of you, if you're the two teachers that are watching this, I'm autistic. And this is something I learned to say a long time ago. Um, and I got this from a movie. The way that you two have to hurt people, the way that you two have to, uh, humiliate somebody because they're different because you don't understand and you don't want to understand because you lost your patience maybe you should get some help or something so anyway um i'm out of time for now i'm about to go shopping in target uh, if you like what i'm doing please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um also be sure to leave questions below and uh 
Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm about to sign off now. Bye. You will not believe this. So I was outside, I bought myself some ice cream, which was the, uh, the Magnum with the hard chocolate. I forget what brand it was called. And I did the dark chocolate raspberry and it was a bit too much too sweet. And I happened to run into um, one of those quote homeless people today that he approached me and he told me how blessed he was. And I said, sir, I don't have any money. And he said, wait a minute, hear me out. So I heard him out and he said he just moved from Milwaukee and he wanted me to buy him something to eat. And so I offered to buy him some ice cream, to give him some of the ice cream. And he said, I don't want that, that's nasty. And so, cause it was, you already been eating from that. So I told him that, well, I can barely afford to take care of myself right now, sir. So uh, he got mad and started, he got mad and walked away and uh, he shouted at me again and shamed me just for trying to give him um, the rest of my ice cream. And so it's just the nerve of some of these people that think, you know, they come up and they ask you for food and then when you try to give it to them, it's not good enough. Well, it's like, are you really homeless or are you just trying to get attention? <laughs> I mean, some of these panhandlers around here, they get a little out of hand. When, when you don't get them what they want, they go haywire and cuss you out. Even though you try to help any way that you can.